Hello. If you think I'm here to do another book haul, you are completely right. Um, I have three books to show you. I was going to wait for another one because Amazon said it would be delivered today, but it hasn't been delivered today. So I don't know when that's going to be delivered. But I have three books to show you, so I'm going to go on with it and I will read you the synopsis, synopses, whatever it is. Um, yeah, because there's only three. So the first book I have is this, and this is 13, and this is by Tom Hoyle. Now I saw this first on Ryan Simpson's channel, I think it's Ryan Reads Books, um, and it has an amazing cover, it's very simple, like this, really cool, very bright, um, and the spine's nice, And then, but this is the coolest part, the pages are yellow, and on the bottom it goes 1 through 6, and they're all crossed out, and then at the top 7 through 12, and they're all crossed out, and on the side it says his days are numbered, and I think that's just amazing. Uh, yeah, and on the back it says they're dying one by one, and I'm going to read you the actual synopsis, which is on the inside. Here. Uh, so it says, born at midnight in London on the stroke of the new millennium, Adam is the target of a cult that believes boys born at this time must die before the end of their 13th but year. Twelve have been killed so far. Corrin, the crazy cult leader, will stop at nothing to bring in his new kingdom. And now he is planning a bombing spectacular across London to celebrate the sacrifice of his final victim, Adam. So that sounds really cool. Um, and I've heard that it's really good. Um, and the writing is massive, actually. Look at it. It's huge. Which is a good thing, because it makes it easier to read. Uh, and it goes in, like, date order. So, here you have chapter 14. Monday 28th of October 2013, up there, and then on another cha chapter 18, Wednesday 30th of October 2013, so it goes in dates, which is cool, um, and it doesn't, from the side it doesn't look like it, but it's actually a big book, it's uh, 322 pages, but from the side it doesn't look that big, um, yeah, so I'm excited to read this, and I've heard it's really good, so this will be going in my TBR pot and hopefully I pick it out because I'm really excited to read this. Uh, the next book I have is The Shack and this is by W.M. Paul Young and I've heard this is amazing. It's a New York Times bestseller and it says over one million copies sold in print which is cool and the back says Mackenzie Allen Phillips youngest daughter Missy has been abducted during a family vacation and evidence that she may have been brutally murdered is found in an abandoned shack deep in the Oregon wilderness. Four years later, in the midst of his great sadness, Mick Mac receives a suspicious note, apparently from God, inviting him back to that shack for a weekend. Against his better judgement, he arrives at the shack on a wintry afternoon and walks back into his darkest nightmare. What he finds there will change Mac's world forever. In a world where religion seems to grow increasingly irrelevant, the shack wrestles with the timeless question, where is God in a world so filled with unspeakable pain? The answers Matt gets will astound you and perhaps transform you as much as it did him. You'll want everyone to, you know, to read this book. And it does look really good. Um, I never really read a book with religion, to do with religion, but yeah, I'm excited to read it. It looks good. And uh, it's quite an old book, actually. It's quite old. It was first printed in... Let me find it for you. Oh, 2008, actually. Oh, uh, so not that old, but it looks quite old. I got it in a charity shop. You can see the pages are a bit brown. But I'm looking forward to reading this one. So that will go in my TBR pot. And then the last book I have to show you today is... This is massive. It's Oxa Pollock, Oxa Pollock, The Last Hope by Anne Plitcheter and Sendrine Wolf. On the front it says, A new heroine, an old evil, an unforgettable adventure. Ooh. And on the back it says, uh, Oxa Pollock is just a normal 13-year-old girl moving with her family from her home in Paris to a new life in London. New friends, a new school, and new adventures. But bizarre things start happening around Oxa. 
Suddenly she finds she can produce fire from her hands, move objects with her mind and even fly. As Oxer experiments with her wonderful new powers, her family notice and an amazing truth is revealed. Along with her best friend Gus, her loving, powerful grandmother, her wicked new physics teacher, her mysterious uncles and a whole host of fantastical creatures, she will be thrown into a wilder adventure than she could ever have imagined. And Oxa knows she must triumph over her enemies. A whole world is counting on her. Interesting. Uh, and it says, The Last Hope is the first book in the phenomenal Oxa Pollock series, followed by The Forest of Lost Souls, which I think is out now. Um, the, Heart, the Heart of Two Worlds, the third book in the series, is coming soon. <sighs> Sorry, there's something on the back. But yeah, that's the cover for the second one, The Heart... Um, the Forest of Lost Souls, which I believe is out now. Uh, yeah, so if I like this, I'll buy the next one. So this will also be going in my paperback thing jar. Uh, and this is a lot of pages. It's like... Hang on. I will find it for you. 507 pages, which is all... Which is, you know, quite a lot. But, if you look, the text is also quite small, so it might take a while to read. But the chapter pages are like three or four pages each, so that's good. I mean, yeah, so that makes it easier to read as well. So yeah, I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to this, actually. Really looking forward to it. Oh, I like that. Look at the title of the first chapter. Multi-level mobilisation. That's cool. Yeah, and all the chapters are named. I like named chapters. Like, 31 is the lowdown on granicology. And then you have 55, the secret silo. And then you have 67, a ball of worries. I don't know why I showed you those, but I like chapter headings. Uh, named chapters. So anyway, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Oxapollock, um, and I, if I enjoy it, I'll pick up The Forest of Lost Souls, and then I'll pick up The Heart of Two Worlds. But yeah, like, this is a series, the first in a series, so I think there's going to be like seven or eight books, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. <coughs> okay, so that's all from me today. Ah, these are the books I've got. Uh, tell me if you've read any of them, or if you have them, to wait and to be read. Um, and if you have read any of them, tell me what you thought about them, because uh, that will be good to know. Okay, so I'm going to go, um, and yeah, I will see you again in another video very soon. Bye! Oh, and if you like this video, subscribe um, and like. Um, yeah. And happy reading, everyone.